So far, when it came to Thermal Iceberg, we covered only the most insane stuff. The 7 heat pipe cooler was definitely nothing regular, but the most insane piece of hardware was still that Ice Gale Extra fan spinning at 3000 RPM. And to put it lightly, we gave that thing the title Fuck You Fan. No matter what's behind that thing, the air will go through. That said, not everybody needs a fuck you fan. Some just need a regular case fan doing regular case fan things. Meet the Thermal Iceberg Ice Scale Silent, a little bit less fuck you, but now with more sane features. This time we got a easier to imp Implement. Yeah, that, that's a good wording. This time we got an easier to implement design with an all black fan that got some of those iconic thermal iceberg turquoise accents in form of rubber pads on each corner and the logo in the center. This time the specs are also a lot more sane. It spins at up to 1600 rpm quick while it's pushing 51 CFM at 1.18 mm of H2O using a sleeve bearing. So a lot slower than the extra fan, but therefore we could get one of these more adequate sleeve bearings that hopefully reduces some of the noise. To connect the fan we got a roughly 40cm long PVM cable which is nicely sleeved. Quality wise I believe the Ice Sleet Silent shares a lot of similarities with the Arctic P12. The frame and quality of the wings feel very much alike, but where Arctic bets on their thicker material usage, Thermal Iceberg invested in additional frame reinforcements and the aforementioned anti-vibration pads on the corners. It's perfectly fine. It's not a Lee and Lee Uni fan, but definitely a P12 level. But the reason I'm mentioning Arctic isn't because of the quality, but the blade design. Because actually the blade length and curvature looks a lot like what Arctic does on the P12. However, what's interesting here is that instead of going for a 5 blade design, Thermal Ice Pack opts for 7 blades. Interesting and hopefully reflected in the benchmarks. Speaking of which, let's get to the benchmarks. First up would be the case fan only benchmark using our case fan box. Letting the silent version spin at their max 16 RPM allowed them to keep the CPU at 45.7 degrees C above ambient. This positions the ice scale silent somewhat in the center of our list, right in between the Nokia NFF12 and P12. A perfectly fine spot for a case fan. However, a degree and a half behind the regular P12 from Arctic. Interesting, but keep in mind that the P12s are still spinning 200 rpm faster. But ignoring that, the important part is still the end noise to performance ratio. Slowly lowering the fan speed in 10% steps, we create this graph. And here we can see that the iceberg thermal ice scale are actually very quiet. From start to finish, you could place them right in between the Montag AX120s and Nokia NF812X25s, which is more than okay. As a case fan, they are perfectly adequate. Max performance is fine, not amazing, but fine. And max noise wise, they are closer to the Nokia NF S12As than to an Arctic P12, which is also a great thing or a great place to be at. Even if these fans aren't meant to be used in radiators, we still did it. Allowing them to spin at max speed on our 80mm radiator showed that they are definitely not made for radiators. At 16.7 degrees C water temperature above ambient, they make the end of the list, just in front of the fans that were put together the wrong way. The corresponding noise to performance graph doesn't look much better either. The length of the line already tells you how many measuring points we were able to gather and even if they weren't particularly loud at that speed, they aren't even they are not even competing with any of the big boys. So no, these are not radiator fans, not with that 1.18 mm of H2O static pressure, but Icepack Thermal never said so. These are definitely aimed for case usage and they do a fine job at that. They might lag a bit on the upper range, like some of that oomph power, but given the 1600 RPM speed and relatively good noise to performance ratio, they are actually 
perfectly fine for the average build. Quality-wise, there is nothing really negative to be said. Yes, they do have a slight flex if I push them hard enough, but let's be honest, P12s have that too. And overall, I would really compare them to an Arctic P12. Me personally, I'm a big fan of the design. I love the black color with that accent color that they go got going. Not to say that Thermal Iceberg's usual design isn't beautiful, but it, this is a lot easier to integrate and just looks clean. It looks hella clean, but that's really for you to decide. One thing that Thermal Iceberg really gets right every goddamn time is the packaging. A simple carton box with printed imagery and some specs. It's so simple, no plastic, no styrofoam, just a triple pack of fans with a bag full of screws. Whoever designs these, just give them a raise. On the craptastic product description scale, it's a bit higher than usual. There are no lies, but it's cooler master level of copy. Innovative new fan design. So quiet you won't notice it's there. No fan compares with the iScale Silent PVM. I can give you f at least 10. It's okay, but they will only get a single RG poop emoji because they got that 10 years warranty, which is nice, but solely for the US, which really isn't nice. But as a whole, for a case fan, it's perfectly fine. Not quite P12s in performance, but definitely in design and the noise to performance ratio is fine. Price wise, I can get them for around 10 bucks a fan as a triple pack, which is also perfectly fine. Get a pack or two and pretty much every case will be good to go for nowadays even with the GPUs that we got. But okay, for today, this is going to be it for Thermal Iceberg and their definitely absolutely normal looking and normal performing Icegate Silent PVM in 120mm. At this point, a huge thank you to Icepack Thermal for sending them over. And finally, a Icepack Thermal review that doesn't include me carrying a freaking permit. On a side note, we also got a Discord server, so if you want to join, the link is down below. And of course, we still have channel membership, so if you're looking for a good way to sell your soul for an RG poop emoji, that's a pretty good way to go. Additionally, you can rest assured that the income will not only keep the channel afloat, but will also serve to pay my lawyer. Yeah, I didn't have a license when we ran the iScale Extra last time. Apparently that was child endangerment and animal cruelty. Whatever, nobody died. Anyway, thank you for watching and if you want to continue, have a look at our take on the iSleet X7. For that one, I did have a license. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.